This is your AFN Misawa News Break. An EOD technician must have the skills to adapt to any situation, like when the objective is hard to reach. This is the idea behind the repelling training course put on in Misawa by experts from Onesimus Defense, a civilian company based in the States. We come in and uh, we uh, design a program. Um, some of these guys want to do some tactical repelling so that they can access certain things, um, but on the other side of it, uh, we take them a step further and we teach them how to, um, to do recoveries as well. So should somebody get hurt, they can recover that person. Should they need to recover equipment, or in this case, ordinance, we teach them how to use these same systems to, uh, to retrieve things or people. EOD technicians from Osan, Kadena, and Masawa participated in this three-day course to learn the basics and then practice real-world scenarios related to their job. Overall, it helps us with uh, access and recovery uh, for ordnance and if we needed to raise or lower anybody onto a, a different field. So it, it's everything in our group that's very situationally based. And it also helps for when we have to pull ordnance from somewhere we have, we now understand mechanical advantages with the ropes and stuff like that. So. The experts from Onesimus Defense are all about imparting their knowledge on others. So it doesn't hurt that they also have a passion for what they do. I love uh, actually all high angle activities. Uh, I started in rock climbing and rappelling and then went into rescue and retrieval. Um, and I just enjoy it. It's not work to me. So uh, anytime I can be hanging from a rope or teaching somebody else to hang from a rope, I'm all for it. This speaks volumes in the quality of the training they gave. And with that, the EOD technicians will now be able to pass on what they've learned to new airmen in the future. Petty Officer Ben Larshad, Misawa Air Base, Japan. Right clear.